Six Dinner Sid by Inga Moore. Sid lived at number one, Aristotle Street. And there he is. He also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Sid lived at six houses so that he could have six dinners. Each night he would slip out of number one, where he might have had chicken, to number two for fish, on to number three for lamb, mince at number four, fish again at number five, rounding off at number six with beef and kidney stew. Since no one talked to their neighbours in Aristotle Street, no one knew what Sid was up to. They each believed the cat they fed was theirs and theirs alone. But Sid did have to work hard for his dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pet. He had six different names to remember and six different ways to behave. When he was being Scaramouche, he put on swanky airs. When he was Bob, he had a job. He was naughty as Satan, silly as Sally, as sooty he smooched, and as Schwartz he had to act rough and tough. Can you see him acting in all those different ways? All this work sometimes wore Sid out, but he didn't care, as long as he had his six dinners. And besides, he liked being scratched in six different places and sleeping in six different beds. Can you see all the different beds that he has to sleep in? In fact, life in Aristotle Street was just about perfect for Sid, until... One cold, damp day, he caught a nasty cough. The next thing he knew, he was being taken to see the vet. Poor Sid, he wasn't just taken once, not twice, but six times. He went with six different people, six different ways. How did he travel to the vets each time? The vet said that Sid's cough wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded, but to be on the safe side, he should have a spoonful of medicine. Of course, Sid didn't have just one spoonful of medicine. You guessed it, he had six. Now, one black cat does look much the same as another, but nobody, not even a busy vet, could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious. Sure enough, when he checked in his appointment book, the vet found six cats with a cough living in Aristotle Street. So he rang the owners at once. And, oh dear, Sid was found out. When they discovered what he'd been up to, Sid's owners were furious. They said he had no business eating so many dinners. Look at how angry they are. They said in future they would make sure that Sid only got one dinner a day. But Sid was a six dinner a day cat. So he went to live at number one, Pythagoras Place. He also went to live at numbers two, three, four, five, and six. But unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived in Pythagoras Place 
walked to their neighbours. So right from the start, everyone knew about six. Dinner, Sid. And because everybody knew, nobody minded. The 